Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today what we're going to be doing is something a little bit different. I've actually been watching some different channels and different people doing different stuff and I've been inspired to change up what people watch as car content a little bit. Then I'm going to see how this goes and it, it seems like a cool idea and it seems like something I might want to try a little bit more of. So I don't know if any of you guys know what the website Wish is. Basically it's knockoffs and they're all supposed to be like Apple headphones. Uh, and you'll get them for like, it'll say, you know, Apple headphones, $80, you pay like five bucks. And it's like a really, really, really discounted website. It takes a couple months for you to get the stuff, but basically you're supposed to be getting like really nice things for really, really cheap. However, I was on there for the first time the other day and I saw they had an automotive section. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go on Wish and we're gonna buy three automotive products and then we're gonna test them out and see how well they actually work. Okay, so we're gonna hop right into the Wish website. This is like my second time on here, so forgive me if I don't really know what's going on. But see, so this is some stuff that you'll see on the Wish website. You got a $262 watch down to 20 bucks, and there's plenty of goods on here. So we're gonna go over here to automotive, and we're just gonna see what's popping over here. So you can get uh, two of these dash cams for $16. I don't think that I would recommend that to anybody. Let's see what else. I, I want to buy some car parts. I'm thinking I want to buy like something I can use as opposed to, you know, like a cleaning product or something like that. There seems to be plenty of like HID LED kind of looking bulbs. I already have HIDs in the BRZ, otherwise maybe I'd try something like that out. Oh, here's something that looks okay. Okay, so here we have what seems to be a Momo shift knob. This guy says, son-in-law happy, very fast delivery. Hopefully your son-in-law doesn't realize that this is probably not a real Momo shift knob. Kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie to you. However, gear shift knob, shifter lever, aluminum Momo universal manual transmission. It's $8. I'm gonna go with blue, because I like blue. No installation guides are included. We highly recommend to seek professional installation. It's a shift knob. It says high quality aluminum, so I'm, ass I'm assuming it's lightweight. Either way, lightweight, heavyweight, we're gonna get a blue one. We are just gonna throw that into our cart. Thank you very much. And uh, let's keep going and see what else we can find. Okay. Oh, so here's something that looks a little bit risky. New auto car smoke fog light, headlight, tail light, tint film, sheet sticker, car accessories. Okay. You can get it in one size, which 30 centimeters by 100 centimeters, probably enough. It comes in a variety of colors though. We got, actually I'm colorblind, I'm not gonna read those to you, you'll make fun of me. Anyways, let's go the black, I don't know, it looks kinda cheap. Orange, purple, green, light blue, dark blue, black. I was almost thinking of going black and putting it on the taillights, but I feel like if the yellow actually works out, it might look really cool on the headlights. Okay, so we are gonna throw that in our cart too. Ha ha, mine was $4. And after much research on these little canard things here, I went and I checked out a couple different ones, and these ones are only eight bucks. They're four of them, universal, front bumper, whatever. I'm just gonna add them. I think they look kinda cool. They were like $8. They're supposed to be carbon fiber. I highly doubt that they'll be real carbon fiber, but I think that's it. So that's gonna be my three parts. So it is April 11th now. It has been uh, January, February, March, April. About four months since I ordered all this stuff. It finally came in. We had a couple things come in. I was waiting for the shift knob forever, but we spent a total of $29 on Wish. And uh, let's just, we're just gonna jump right into what we got. So <laughs> something that really scares me is this package. Now, it smells like weed. This is supposed to be the canards, okay? First of all, my hand is bigger than this package. I don't have a tape measure. But they were supposed to be pretty decently sized. This doesn't look very decently sized. And there's supposed to be four of them in here and um, it, it feels pretty light. I'm hoping that there's actually four in here. Oh damn, there is four. Dude, they're stacked so perfectly. Look at that, there's four of these things in here. I totally thought there would only be one, but they are tiny. These, these are like the smallest things I've ever seen. Check this out. So these are plastic, cheapy things with little carbon fiber on top. It actually looks pretty nice, actually. I'm not gonna lie. They're tiny though, like, like, I, like this is a 13 inch MacBook. It's, uh, it's very small. I'm stoked that there's four. I was really worried we only got like two. Next package, I actually opened this one because it didn't have anything that said it was from Wish. It didn't, it didn't, wasn't clearly marked. I thought it was maybe something from you guys because it was just in the PO box one day. We got, the tint. Now this came in uh, a roll, like a, a packaging of like bubble wrap, but it's still kind of damaged. There seems to be actually quite a bit. I don't 
Let me just pop this open and we're gonna see what's going on here. Oh, it's in a plastic wrap. Okay, that's good. Makes me a little bit less nervous. Oh, the plastic wrap is... What? Okay, well, I can't really open this until I'm ready to use it, is what it appears. But uh, it's here, it is gold. And last but not least, this one kind of broke itself open on the way. It was like half sticking out. We got, this has actually turned out way better than I thought. We got the Momo shift knob, not the real Momo shift knob. We got the Wish Momo shift knob. There it is. And you got, uh, well, I'm not sure what we have here. You get, this is the shift knob. It was, it's aluminum. It's pretty light actually. I don't know how much I'm gonna like driving with it, but whatever. Um, it, it looks better than I thought. If I didn't know any better, this could be real Momo. Um, it's, it's actually pretty nice. It's got some nice, Oh, I just broke my desk. This is the cheapest thing I've ever seen. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but uh, let's let's get into it. So he came to Everson's shop, used a heat gun for the headlight tint, but he doesn't actually have a heat gun. I don't know why I thought he did, but he doesn't. So we're just gonna try our best to like put the tint on the headlights. I think we're just gonna clean the headlights first and then put the tint. Look at the quality. Is it, is mm -hmm. it can it see this? Mm -hmm. From Just from it being shipped, it was in like a three inches of foam and it still has like little dents and crap all over the place. So I don't even know if we'll be able to get them out. Same color. I don't know if we'll be able to get them out, but we're gonna do our best, so. It's not a heat gun, but it's like a, a actual professional blow dryer, so it's gonna work. We should get a so we we're gonna do that. We're gonna pull this off and we're gonna re-wet them and try again. So we have no idea how this is gonna work. We're just gonna start. You ready? Yeah, you can feel it stretch. When it's right? nice and hot, you feel it go. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, and it just it smells gets... like, <coughs> like burning crap. We've never done like we've never done this before, so we really don't know what we're doing. But it took us three people and a lot of heat and like a good half an hour just to get this one to go. From the camera, I don't know how much you'll see. There's a couple bubbles that we're hoping. Don't come up close. <laughs> I don't want them to see this. There's a couple bubbles that we're hoping um, we can get out. But as far as the actual tint, because that's what this is about. It's not about the actual tint. The actual tint is pretty nice. We peeled off the like the protective coating because we couldn't heat it. It was just blowing off. We're basically now just gonna cut the extras and then work on getting the bubbles out. But as far as like the actual tint, obviously you can get better stuff, but this is doing a better job than I expected it to do for sure. And something that might actually show the quality is like when we were heating it up, I don't know if this is just us like not really knowing what we're doing, but like you can see there's a couple tears right there. So there's a tear there and a tear there. And that's basically just, I have the card in here and I'm just like pushing on it and it ripped. I don't know if that's us getting it too hot and I don't know if that's it just being really thin. I have no idea, but something to note for people that know things about these, that might be a sign of the fact that it's a little bit cheaper. For a first time install job, I think we did a pretty good job. There, It's horrible when you get up close. The camera just doesn't see it, there we go. You can see like a million little bubbles, but it's not about the install, it's about like the actual product. And as far as the product, I think it worked pretty well. It was cheaper, like I said, it ripped a little bit. And I feel like a lot of these bubbles are due to the fact that it's very, very hard to manipulate. And even on the corners here, like we've heated this up until it was like melting and it still has a little bit of spots where it just won't bend the right way. But like as far as shine and color and everything, I'm impressed. It looked just like I thought it was gonna look. And we all actually like it. You like it? I do, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. Hey, trunk boy. Talking about the lights. Oh, yeah. So these things are like a hundred times smaller than I thought they were. I know on the website it said their sizing, I don't remember exactly what it was. I totally thought they'd be at least a little bit bigger than that. So they're, they're kind of funny looking on the car, dude. It, it fits your car. I have like the perfect spacing here for that, right? Okay, so what we'll do, we'll just <laughs> clean this spot, even though we're gonna wash this car later, anyways. We'll just clean, <laughs> we'll clean this spot for now. And then where do you, what, the, what are the lines that you're thinking? Do you want like dead on the middle or like closer here or closer there? Closer to the back. Like, so like right, right on the wheel line, yeah. So we'll put tape here. You can move that. We'll just tape right across this line. Why are we taping? So that we get it right. Because if we tape that and then we tape on the other side the same thing, mm -hmm. then we'll put it in the same place. So we masked off the same on both sides just to try to get it in the same general area. Um, and then I think we're just gonna put the top one on. Then it's just like, it says M. Probably isn't 3M tape because it was from Wish and it cost me like $6. However, we're just gonna hope that it sticks just as good as real 3M would. There's that. How does that look from back there? You think it'll make it home? <laughs> oh yeah. I actually doesn't like how they look. It doesn't even look that bad. It doesn't look like cheap, 
and it doesn't look. I can't really see them on camera that well. No? Because it's like black. Maybe outside would be better. So it's on. The back part's on. Just tell me where the angle's good. Sorry. Nice! We actually matched it. I just winged it. I was like, whatever. Should I put this in here that we already broke it? So in the process of doing the headlights, Emerson put his big fat knees on this and the 3M tape, that's not actually 3M tape, literally just popped right off. Um, like the back end still sticks, but well, it's look, cause he rolled it. Whatever, we're just gonna rip it off and put our own just for the sake of having <laughs> You don't actually have big ass knees. The point is, it broke off already. So if you're wondering quality of the tape, you're looking at it. The canards I actually think are one of the favorite things of these three. I think they actually look pretty cool. They have an awkward little spacing here because the tape doesn't come right to the end. And usually you would bolt something like this to the car so it doesn't like move around. But the fact that they're kind of bendy and durable is cool. I mean, Emerson ripped one off in two seconds, so that doesn't give me like faith in them staying forever. But it wasn't something that I was super excited about when I ordered it, but I definitely think it gives it like a cool, I feel like when someone looks at this car from like in a mirror or like farther away, it actually just looks super aggressive. They are a little small though, and if I decide to get real ones one day, I'm gonna have to get bigger ones. As far as the shift knob goes, I don't know if you guys understand how shift knobs work. This is what an aftermarket shift knob looks like, and when you screw it, off there's like a thread adapter so the little silver piece inside is the real size threads and then this comes with a huge hole and then you get one like this this little adapter piece that screws onto these threads which this then screws on to to make it all the same size but this one this fake little momo one here doesn't even have threads inside and all it came with are these little rubber washers so essentially this little rubber plasticky thing replaces this. So you shove this in, you put the tiny little screws in, and then essentially you just mash it down onto the threads. I really have no idea. I just want you guys to know that this is like 100% not the way a shift knob should go. So we're just gonna start, take this old one off. And this old one, well, not the old one, but the stock one is actually pretty heavy. And something that I didn't really think about when I was ordering this, this one is like all aluminum and it's very, very light. So I don't know if you guys know the difference, but basically you'll feel a lot more with this. And the heavier ones just kind of make it smoother when you shift your gears. Not a big deal, but just something to note. So take this guy off and then I'm feeling like it's gonna be the bigger one. So now I'll put the bottom piece on. Okay, so now we'll put these in. Now that the rubber's, you're filming this, right? Okay, we're gonna put these in. I'm just gonna tighten the shit out of these. And hopefully these will go through the rubber, grab the threads, and actually thread on when I try and thread them. So now it's pretty much just stuck there. It's just gonna have to stay where it is. I think that's the conclusion I've come to. If I screw this up, is it too high though? Oh no, look at that, it goes right to it. It's definitely a longer throw, which is actually kind of cool. I'm used to having like a really short stubby knob, so having a tall one now is kind of nice. Um, it's like a million different pieces and it really should not be here. Um, I'm, I, I like the idea of it and if I like driving with this, maybe I'll buy one similar that's real. Um, but this is what really bugs me because I hate having ugly little details in that car, in my car. It works good for the reverse lockout, goes right up to it, but at the end of the day, it's ugly. So at the end of the day, I was actually a lot happier with the products from Wish than I expected. I expected them to be cheap, like fragile, maybe breaking. Um, aside from the canards having crap tape on them and popping right off, they were actually pretty good. I think the canards are one of my favorite things that we did. The tint was actually better than I thought too. The tint, uh, half of it is that we didn't know what we were doing. We're not great installers of tint and vinyl and stuff. We don't really know what we're doing. But the way that it worked was exactly how I imagined. So. I'm pretty sure if we knew what we were doing, we could have manipulated that tin a lot better and we could have got a way better turnout. And it, I was expecting the tint to be cheap and maybe rip, I don't know what I was expecting. But the tint turned out way better than I thought. I actually love it. Courtney loves it and everybody at the shop loved the way the tint looks. And it was one of those things, I was gonna paint the inside of my headlights and just a stupid making a wish video has actually made me want to get them done properly in yellow. Let me know what you guys think, but I kinda wanna keep it. And the shift knob is realistic and like fully functional. I put it on my Instagram story today and people were messaging me being like, oh damn, nice shift knob. And I was like, you aren't gonna, you aren't gonna like that when I post the video and you find out what it actually is. But like, it's fully, it, it looks realistic. I mean, it's not, it's not proper to all you guys that like to criticize things about how it's not having the threads and whatever, but it works. And the way it goes on there works. And I've been driving with it for almost a week and it, it's perfectly fine. I think what we learned here is that Wish has good gateway mods. Whether it's mods getting you into modding your car or whether it's mods seeing if, hey, 
do I like having a long shift knob or would I rather have a short shift knob? You can go buy one for $6 and then you get it and it's nice and tall and oh yeah, I really like it. Then you spend the big money on the other one. Same with the headlight tint. You can get the tint, everything. You can get anything on there for cheap and then see if you really like it and then you can go make the big purchase on like the real stuff. And it's just good cheap fun. Like if, if you don't have a big bank account, you don't have to tell people that's not real Momo. Like I don't have to tell people I got that stuff off Wish. No one would know. It doesn't look like it all cost me $30, which if you don't know, when you order things on Wish, if they take past the delivery date, they like refund you and then still let you keep it if it shows up. So that's what happened with me. So I only spent actually now at the end of the day, a total of 15 bucks on all of that. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was something different and I was actually really excited to do it and I'm really stoked with how it turned out. I like all the things we did to the car and I've left them on and I probably will continue to leave them on until they either break or I get better ones. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you liked it. I'm hoping to see lots because I actually enjoyed this video and making it and the turnout a lot more than I thought I was going to. I'm stoked. I definitely would love to do more videos like this. So guys, let me know your thoughts down below. I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and stay committed.